Hi Diamond Painting friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, if you end up liking the video, please give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe if you think you want to hang out and see some more unboxings. I usually do unboxings. Um, hopefully eventually I could do more like hit up um, chats, whipping chats and other things. But for now, I pretty mainly do a lot of unboxings. Um, so today, look at what is all of this here. So I was super excited when um, in January, no, December, a friend of mine gave me a gift card to the one with the diamond art. And it's a company that I've been wanting to order from. And I do apologize for the lawnmower, but it's... Um, my home where I'm filming, it's pretty small. So the lawnmower is just like right out the window. So sorry about that, but this was the only time I could get a video out. So anyway, I had been wanting to order from the one with the diamond art. And so I was super excited when I got a gift card for it. And I knew what I wanted to get. Well, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to get. I did know I wanted to get a Josephine Walls. Josephine Wall or the Josephine Walls. Well, so that was very hard for me to narrow down. I wanted to get something that was colorful because I have, I'm working on a lot of canvases that have some browns and greens, you know, they're like the, the toadstool cottage. And um, so I wanted to get something colorful, although I didn't end up getting something too colorful because um, I ended up really liking this image. I had four images and one was like a tree guy. So it had a lot, it looked like it had a lot of light, like white colors. I, I so apologize about that. Um, it's just like right out my window. I didn't realize it's gonna be this close. At the time it was in the backyard and now it's in the front yard. So I didn't realize that they were gonna switch to the front yard while I was filming. So, so this is the beautiful card. So when I ordered, I ordered February 9th and it got here today, which I think today, I'm sorry, I ordered January 9th during that whole Chinese, um, when they were on vacation. And today is Feb March the 20th, I believe. So when you ordered on the 9th, they, they said that you would get a free like 30 by 40 canvas. So I'm glad I had waited because I was going on their website, you know, every other day trying to looking at the images, trying to figure out what I wanted. Anyway, so I got a free canvas, you guys. So let me go ahead and share with you what I got. So these are all the drills. I'm going to move all this over to the side so you can see. Um, I didn't get a super large Josephine, Josephine walls. Is it walls? Let me look at this so I know. Josephine Wall, okay, with a no S at the end. I didn't get it super large. I got it in a big size, but not like hugely big. So for those of you who do Josephine Wall paintings, please let me know if, if this is a pretty decent size for the image, because uh, I really hope it's gonna come out, especially after, after um, you know, it's the only one I'll probably buy for a long time. So, can you kind of see it right there? Right here is a a woman's face. So here's a toolkit. I got two toolkits because I ordered two. I ended up with three canvases, but I ordered two. And right here is the washi for that one and, and the washi for that one. So you get some wax. You also get wax in a little container. You get a comfort grip. You get some tweezers. And they look like they're not the super, super, super sharp one. I guess I should probably just open this up. Let's open up one. Let's see. Yeah, I like these ones because these ones kind of, see how they're a little bit more blunt? They kind of, um, for me, they're easier to pick up the, the drills. When I have the super sharp ones, it, it kind of scratches the drill at least for me, and then sometimes the drill goes flying. And then you have your tray and some bags, a little bit, a little bit of extra baggies, and then you have it all in this organza bag. So nice tool kit. So I got two of those, but look what else I got. I got a nice pen. So this is, 
this is a lot nicer than what comes with the tool kits. So if you, this is your first time ordering a diamond painting, it's nice that they offer your, you know, they give you a pen as well. This one's pretty. So I'll definitely be using this. This one actually might go with the, the Josephine painting I got. Okay, so you guys ready to see the Josephine painting? So I already had this all laid out. All three canvases came in this box. It was super heavy and kind of long. So this is what the box looks like. I'm just gonna move that over there. And then the, the canvas is scalloped and poked to pre help prevent fraying. And here's all the social media. And I like it how it has this border. Kind of wish it was all the way around though, but it's on both sides. And then over here, so my painting, oh look, it has a name, shape, and size, but there's nothing here. So this is a 80 by 100 centimeters. And it looks like it divides with the plastic right here. The plastic is not super thick, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not like a deal breaker for me. I do appreciate when the plastic is thick. And the top has the one with the diamond art and their, their logo right there. And this is what I got. And I believe this is 160 color. So that's nice that it's not like a 250 color. I wasn't, I was really hoping it wouldn't be, you know, 200 colors. So this is what I got. This is the inventory sheet I got with it. And this is called Spirit of Winter by Josephine Wall, 80 by 100 square with, I think that's, fairy dust. I'm not sure what they call it. I know they don't call it fairy dust. It, I put it with ABs and then I emailed them asking if I could have their pearlescent drills and they said that I could. So we'll see. So this one is 150 colors. So I really like that. The only thing is I do wish this was a little bit bigger. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to kit everything up just yet. But isn't that gorgeous? So there is the, the numbers one through nine, and then you get some alphabetical. And then right here you have, then you start the symbols at 31. And the symbols seem clear. This thing's just kind of small. So I might email them and see if I could get this bigger and print it out myself. And the canvas, let's look at the canvas real quick. So I was thinking of maybe asking somebody to help me to add things to this, but then I remembered like special drills, but then I remembered it's gonna come in black and white because it is the Josephine wall. And I guess the, um, from my understanding, if it's the, the um, symbols are more clear on the black and white because most Josephine walls have a lot of colors, which this one doesn't, this is only 150. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So it's kind of going to be like a mystery painting. I mean, I know what it is, but as it comes to life, that's the way I kind of think of it. So let me take my glasses off and then we can take a look at the, the symbols. So everything looks super clear to me. Oh, I think they did it also in black and white, not only for the many colors, but because of the confetti, the amount of confetti. So it all looks very clear. I see there's an umbrella. I see, let's see. Wow, that one looks like a shoe to me. There's even supposed to be a coffee cup, which I like that. So the symbols look really clear. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. There is a legend on each side, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be using those. So let's look at the drills. So I believe, oh yeah, these two. I did take out this because I was so excited to see, like I wanted to see what kind of storage solution I could um, have for this. So these are the drills. I probably should have been more careful not to get them mixed up with the other ones. So this is the color palette. It's not as colorful as I wanted, but I think the image is beautiful. 
There's going to be a lot of grays. Look at these spark blues right there. We'll look at those right now. Look at all those colors. So it wasn't as bright and colorful as I wanted to get, but again, I really fell in love with the image. Okay, so let me open this so we can take a look at those drills, the pretty ones. I don't know how many it came with. It didn't say on the website. It just said if you wanted the ABs. Now I think you can ask. I Now there is an option for the pearlescent drills, but at the time there was only ABs. Let's see. I think that's, I think that's it. So... Excuse me. Okay, so here is a pretty purple. You see that where there's like that glitteriness? I think I think they say it's like mica powder sprinkled in there. So we got a purple one, a pretty blue one. And this one looks more to me like a A B. This, which stands for Aurora Borealis, which it has like another coating. Doesn't that look more like an, an AB? When I emailed her, she said I could have either or, but not both. So not sure exactly what happened there, but that's fine. So I said just to go ahead and go with the pearlescent. Because that's what I really wanted. So this one looks like it's the pearlescent. You see that there? And this one looks like an AB. So it looks like I got three of each. That's going to be pretty. Although I'm not sure if I really want to find out where they're going to go on this thing. Because there's so many colors. I think what I'm going to do with this one. With this. There's the Josephine wall event. That's why um, I'm, I'm so glad it came just in time. Because it starts next month in April and May. And I think that's by um, Angie's crafty um I'll, I'll put their i'll put the links to their channels below and then i believe the other one is deborah or debbie but i can't remember the the um youtube channel so since i was paying 33 dollars to have it shipped here i went ahead and added another painting i just wanted something small that i thought i could kind of get started um that was before i realized that i'd probably be starting this one sooner then later, but then I thought, well, let me just add it in anyway. Um, this one's around, so I thought this would be a fun one to kind of see if I could finish it a little bit quicker. You know me though, I'm kind of slow. And share with you all my thoughts on the quality of everything. I am really liking this canvas. It's not super thick, but not like really thin. So I really like the way it feels. So this one is, I only have fries for you. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I love French fries, so. And this one, I think I got pearlescent. It had an option for pearlescent and it, and, or ABs, not, not both. So I apologize for that crinkly. Oh, so here's the color palette. Let me take this out. So I like this one because it has all of these nice colors. You got orange, yellow, red. Look at all those beautiful colors. Oh my goodness, that white. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, so I knew I was going to have a lot of white. That was the only thing I wasn't too sure about when I decided to get it, but I thought it was just so cute. So, and I was kind of just wanted to get my order in at that time. These look like these are ABs. So I don't know, maybe I hit the ABs instead of the pearlescent. But here's the ABs. This is a red, a pretty buttercream yellow, a bright yellow, a pretty gray. I love the gray in AB. What do you do? You like that one? Uh oh, I gotta cough again. <coughs> so sorry. And then this pretty pink. Oh, I love that pink. It looks reminds me of like a frosting. I guess I I um. I think of food with certain colors. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this aside. I don't want to lose anything. So this one is a 
40 by 55. And this one has 40 colors. So I guess you could pretty much see it from there. How cute is that? And then this one, this one has the name on the bottom, I believe. Yep, fries for you, round diamonds, 40 by 55 centimeters. And let's take a closer look at this one. So this one is interesting because you see the word, um, like right here, see how like that six is kind of half between white and black. And then look at the, the red line. I wonder if that's going to get covered up or if it will be in between the drills. Because if it, if the drills cover it, it'll kind of, I wonder how that would look. So that's going to be interesting. But see how like there's a color within the color. So this one will actually be pretty interesting to see how it comes out. And then see the eyelashes. They're part black and part white and yellow. So that'll be interesting. Because, you know, the drill like right here, that's two colors, the drill number four. It has like that peachy color along with the black because the drill is not going to be like two colors. So the four, which is number four, is like this light gray right there. Oh, look at that. No, the four is a brown. So this one has the numbers one and then this, I don't like how the numbers are off like that because it confuses me, especially when they're that close. Like this is one and that the symbol's going to be two. But I do like when it goes from numbers to letters and then from letters to symbols. I just, when these are not, you know, corresponding with each other, that's what gets a little bit confusing. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. See how the, the B right there is going to be yellow, so it's going to go over the black. That'll be interesting. Have you done one like this from the one with the diamond art? Let me know. That's going to be a lot of white, huh? Hopefully with the white, I will be able to get those symbols on there so the, the black is not going to be coming through. I mean... Yeah, the black from the symbols is what I mean. So that is that one. And then the last one, let me put this in here before I get something mixed up. I really like this color palette. And the bags are already in these other baggies. And these baggies, they're, they're nice. So it's already kitted up a few. And they open up pretty easy if you want to work out of baggies. So let me just put this bag away over here. I want to close it all the way. So then I got my free kit is this mystery kit. And so this one is a 30 by 40. And as you can probably, I don't know if you can see, but I see like a dragon right here. And it says down here, it says round happy Chinese New Year 2024. This one has, oops, sorry about that. This one has guide circles though. So if there's a lot of white, hopefully there's not a lot of white. Oops, let me take my glasses off. See how there's like the guide circles? But at least everything looks clear and I'm okay. Again, the guide circles don't, um, it's not a make or break for me like if I were to order um, but it's kind of interesting how how this canvas is they're different this one has guide circles this one doesn't oh and the Josephine wall you can get that in a round but I don't know how that would work out getting it in a round with the white background because it's not it's not stamped in color so that's just something to think about because I was almost I almost I was thinking about getting it in a round because of the size and I'm thankful that I didn't get it in a round because I wasn't thinking about that at the time. Okay, so here is the color palette for our mystery painting. Our 
my mystery painting. Looks like it's just all regular, no special drills. And our mystery painting has 35 colors. And this one, you have the symbol one and one, but then the other ones, at least three and three are, are the same, four and four and such. Although the two is a Z, that's interesting. And then you have your letters and then two symbols. I like that. So that is my order from the one with the diamond art. So now I'm going to have to figure out how to get it all back in that box. I actually might not, um, I might actually kit the Josephine wall up soon. Actually, I'm going to buy a um, container for it. And yeah, so I, I'm excited about the the Josephine wall event. This is going to be the first time I'm participating in it. Uh, the first time I'll be doing a Josephine wall. And so let me know what you think about the size that I got. Did I get it too small for a Josephine painting? And here's the image again. It's called Spirit of Winter. So let me know in the comments. And I guess that is it, you all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are here to the end, I think there might be a french fry emoji. If there's no french fry emoji, why don't we put in the hamburger one? But, um, oh, and let me know, do you love french fries? I love french fries. I'm not sure exactly my favorite french fry yet because I do, I do love Wingstop, but I also like Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out burgers, their fries. So those are my top three fries. So, and then a runner up is Freddy's. Those are shoestring fries and they're really good. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching till the end. Put a fry emoji in there and I will see you in my next video. Bye.